Hello everyone, welcome back to another fantastic art video. In this week's video, I am sharing tips and tricks and a little bit of my process for Inktober. If you have not seen what Inktober is, check out my first video in this series. In that video, I also go over how I prepare for it. So, assuming you're all caught up on what Inktober is and how you prepare for it and you're ready to dive on in with your inking, then let's get started on that. I always start my Inktober every single day that I'm going to draw. I begin with a warm-up. So, I do a couple of quick little sketches that are very simple. And I just go over and I ink those so I can get my hand warmed up for the motions of being very precise in the lines. Now, Inktober is not the challenge of I must be perfect every single day and can only post Leonardo da Vinci level pieces and that be the strain on you for the whole month. Inktober is... A month set aside for artists to practice their inking skills so it does not need to be perfect and it doesn't need to be masterpieces well you know just like practice drawing a smiley face every day is perfectly fine it doesn't need to be this great big illustration with all these details it's just you need to get your pen onto the paper so that way you can keep your hand in practice and you can keep in practice with the ink. If any of that even makes any sense. So moving on to the actual drawing that I began Inktober with this year, I went in and I actually just kept my lines as even as possible. I had one pen size and that's the only thing I used to start off with. And I just, I didn't make any line thickness or thinness. I just went in and I copied every single line from my pencil. And then after that, I go in a little bit later and I clean stuff up with a smaller pen and then some bigger pens uh, and just kind of I mainly shaded the corners of where lines would meet and that was the main thing I did this particular drawing didn't have much um, option for line variance for the style that I wanted to keep it in. So later in the month, I'll probably experiment with some different drawings that have more line width. But for now, at least the first couple that I've planned, I think it'll be pretty straightforward and not have too much going on. So I will continue to share as I draw and share techniques that I use while I continue this Inktober challenge. I hope you continue it too. I thank you all for watching. Please leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And I will see you all next week. Bye!